Let me preface with you with something that happened literally right as I was about to record this video. I had a pretty bad art scam going around in my own discord. Like this person here was trying to pretend that they were like some, uh, well, not this artist. And they joined my discord on an alt account trying to recommend their artwork from a friend or someone that they know as if someone like me wouldn't recognize this artwork right away. They tried saying that they had someone who just opened up or updated their art commissions recently over some VTuber models. And one of my community members almost fell for this and they literally were messaging the artist about it too until i realized like wait a minute this is moiko's artwork and i'm pretty sure this is a company model and this is owned by like a different company who did the whole live duty modeling for it so i went to go click on their profile and the best way to figure out if somebody is super sketchy is when they say things like this open for live duty vtubers with whatever discount it is they never like specify if it is art or the modeling or what it is they usually just say oh we're open for vtuber stuff and then they try to give you like a discount and it's just a scam it is a big scam don't fall for it so i reported the post and this person who was the one that trying to pretend like it wasn't them joined on my discord with an alt account and they didn't just recommend one person they recommend two different artists which i'm pretty sure is both of them because this account is no longer existed and they literally almost scammed one of my community members so out of protection i not only reported their account up over here but i also called them out on twitter and then i also removed them from my discord for trying to get people in my community to get scammed. I don't tolerate scams very well in my community. And me and the moderators work very, very hard to keep people protected. Like, I seriously can't believe this person thought that they could pull the I have a friend or I know someone scam to unsuspecting members in my Discord. Me and my moderators are very diligent on protecting everyone from scams. And that is the leading topic of this entire conversation for today because the member who almost got scammed, I ended up recommending them some actual options to find a VTuber model because they were saying how they were struggling to find a good reputable place. And you want to know what I ended up telling them? I told them to go on VGen to find their artist because instead of taking a risk on someone they found on Twitter, VGen's policy update will give them more peace of mind. And even though I think VGen's policies need a bit more polishing, which I'll get into with my own personal thoughts later in this video, the fact remains that my Discord member has a much higher chance of actually receiving their product versus now falling from this random scammer 9000 that because they're off offering cheap and affordable VTuber models and art, or whatever it is that these bad actors are constantly trying to do in this community. Both new and aspiring and veteran VTubers are constantly getting scammed by these so-called artists or artists who have high reputations, just not delivering on their promise because of X, Y, and Z, or whatever it is that's going on that's preventing them from delivering a commission on time. And from a client's perspective, this can be incredibly frustrating, especially Especially since a lot of us know Fiverr can't be trusted at all. Skeb is just a mess of a website to navigate on. And don't even get me started on trying to wrestle PayPal over getting your money back. So as a client who wants a reputable website to get an art commission from or any other types of commissions like video editing, music productions, whatever you can imagine, what other options are left? Well, that's the mission that VGen is trying to achieve by being that bridge to repair the artist and client relationship. It's pretty much like a westernized version of Skeb, especially since you can do a lot of customizations instead of just clicking on commission and filling out that little blurb box. And this website has been around now for a, a while now and it's been a great option for people. In fact, I commission a lot of my video editors on here because, well, I just got sick and tired of being ghosted or just them not delivering on their promise for just video editing. Like, it's just, just ugh. I don't even ask for a lot with my edits. Like, I've been editing all of my videos this past week, as you can see. So I really don't ask for a lot. And VGen has been that place where I can finally find people who are reputable because if they weren't, then all you gotta do is just report their and get them dumb scammers out of here. It's super easy. So if this all sounds really nice, then um, why am I making a video on this? Well, sorry, I keep getting distracted by that ton thing. <laughs> all right, so like, what's the problem here? Well, let me take a look at this. A couple of days ago, Muncha had released an update on Discord talking about the biggest and most controversial update that has happened on VGen so far. And it has to do with enabling buyer protection and mandatory Terry guaranteed delivery dates and looking ahead more on buyer's protection. But don't worry, um, I know a lot of people really uh, don't like the fact that I use light mode on Discord. So we have here on Munch's 
actual Twitter what this policy update is for you dark mode lovers out there. And on here, it's detailed about the bioprotection part one and how they're going to be releasing all new bioprotection updates together and they decided to introduce them pretty much now. Like it's live now. And the whole reason why they're implementing this is to help other clients who've been scammed and ghosted and, you know, just the bad actors who are constantly trying to take advantage of us all the time here in this community. The idea behind this is that there is now going to be guaranteed delivery dates. That is going to be heavily enforced where clients will now have the option to cancel their commissions without any penalty. That means they will get a full refund and any unreturned fees will be charged to the artist. And your delivery date accuracy will be negatively impact if you do not actually fulfill that deadline. And your clients might also leave you a negative review over it. This is why they're going to introduce these safeguards just because there's just been too many bad actors. Even on VGen, they've been having a hard time with some people still ghosting and not delivering on their promised dates. They also make a point of reference to say if you have any extenuating circumstances that causes like that guaranteed deadline to be missed, such as like your health or safety or loss or personal issues, and you've proven that you've maintained like proactive communication with your clients to inform them about the delays as early as possible, then you won't be penalized for this. So just have to send them a ticket in Discord so that way they can adjust those um, dates and penalties and that way they can take off anything that might be holding your account over. So basically the first part of this policy update is that if let's say if you have three overdue commissions with guaranteed dates that have also passed then they will restrict your account and to resolve it you have to request a change in the guarantee dates. Then the client has to approve it or it gets auto approved. This restriction will also auto close your commissions and removes you from the discovery until you have no more overdue commissions. And this is very controversial and seems to be the biggest issue that I see a lot of artists talking about on Twitter, but we'll get into that in a moment because there's another part to this whole situation, which is the refund policy in the part two of the buyer protection update. It says here coming in two to four weeks, there's going to be more heavy hitting features in the buyer protection that they're hoping will ensure the client funds are always safe. And this has to do with things like with Stripe, withholding the funds until the client actually receives the product or if there's milestones that are completed towards that product. And PayPal will still be the same. You'll still get your funds immediately like how you normally would as an artist, but they'll be more proactive about encouraging clients to dispute after the guaranteed delivery date has passed. Basically, if you're an artist on VGen and someone commissions you, then you have 150 days to complete the project with a dynamic guaranteed delivery date being applied. This essentially encourages this concept of having a milestone for different completion ranges. So depending on each milestone, you can be flexible with this for each completion step of the project. Let me show you like an example. So like the dynamic guaranteed delivery function basically means the project starts when the payment happens. So if you set it up in milestones, you won't have a timer on you. It looks like to me, VGen wants artists to split up the payments for projects longer than 150 days with a limit of two years for completion. So you have different steps and each of those steps that get completed, you will get money for. This entire update has been very controversial to both artists, clients, and random passerby VTubers alike. And it doesn't help that a lot of artists already have some preconceived gripes due to VGen taking a percentage of people's tips that, you know, you can give to an artist, like additional money on top of what you're already paying for with the art commission because some clients are just really cool and pog like that. And then the fact that this new update being implemented without any warnings or ample amount of time ended up just being the last straw for a lot of people because, well, this affected a lot of artists immediately by default. And many different artists and VTubers shared their opinions over it on Twitter. So here are a couple of the ones that I was reading over the last couple of days that I thought brought up very interesting points about this topic. For example, this particular artist named Enigma said that they received an email on their VGen account was going to be closed without any prior notice because, well, they forgot to update their status on their commissions that were already completed and sent to their client already, which is a... Uh really scary to think about because imagine actually completing the work and losing your account because you forgot to update something. And then I noticed that there had seemed to be a lot of confusion on the 150 day refund policy, which it looks like Mancha had clarified it a bit under this tweet. So you have two years for the delivery date, but you still need to clarify what that delivery date is going to be. So a lot of these complaints that I've been seeing from people are, well, just the not 
fully understanding the wording behind the policy change and also not liking the pressure of having to complete something under 150 days. Which is why over the last several days after all the feedback, Muncha had released an update saying that this 150 guarantee delivery date is going to still be mandatory, but the limit to it is going to be two years, which is how that whole milestone concept got introduced that I explained earlier. It's definitely an interesting business choice to have to do things with little progress bars to get certain amounts of payment, but it is definitely something that a lot of people have been sharing their opinions on. Like this post here is something that I think brings on a very interesting discussion. Like artists being comfortable taking on too many clients, ghosting them, and still having commissions open when your queue is full because, you know, I've said over the years my gripe against like as a client because it always rubbed me the wrong way when I would pay someone for a commission and then I wouldn't get an update until I messaged them three months later because uh, I saw that they had opened up their commissions again. And with that being said, I saw an actual artist on VGen share their thoughts about this whole situation where if you're an artist and can't be held accountable to complete or refund a commission within two years, then you shouldn't be opening commissions in the first place. I don't understand why this is a controversial change. And I think that there is something to be said about this because I'm noticing a trend on this client and artist relationship with not giving someone their commissions for a really long time. But before I talk about that more, I want to bring up something that someone else had talked about, which is how VGen's policy updates are just standard business practices and that VGen is ran by a very small company. And then they also give some pretty good advice on like, hey, if you're really interested in some urgent funds, then you can have like a Google form or a Kofi. Give your clients great customer service and just make sure you're always being active with communication. Again, there is that word communication. And lastly, I think that this post is very straightforward because I think we can all agree that anyone who doesn't like or agree with the new VGen policy can just simply not use the website and go back to the old risky ways of just using PayPal, which we all know is not reliable to anyone that uses it. So after seeing all this information and looking at everything from both a client and an artist perspective, because yes, I am an artist. See, this is my art. Did you perceive it? Okay, good. Now that'll be $500. Okay, I don't have a VGen account because, um, well, uh, I don't know why actually. Maybe, maybe I should apply to be on there. Honestly, I just keep forgetting. <laughs> so, uh, you can take my opinion with a very big grain of salt when I say this. I genuinely believe that a lot of artists should not be taking commissions at all because entrepreneurship isn't for everyone. I think art can be an amazing side gig if you want to earn a little bit of money here and there, but to go on a much larger scale working with a lot of clients and creating this whole massive business requires you to be a professional. And being a professional artist has a lot of standards, as well as responsibility and expectations, especially for an industry like VTubing, where our careers are literally relying on the professionalism from the artists that we're giving our hard earned money to. There are business skills that are required, and it's just what a lot of people lack. But the good news is that these are skills and skills can be learned. So I think that these new policies are very standard and objectively a good thing overall, because it enforces artists to be more professional about their commissions. I think it's a great way to sharpen those business skills as I just mentioned because well take me for example. I don't do art full time and I only really open my art commissions when I'm struggling to pay my bills or I have an emergency vet visit because Mochi keeps trying to eat things that she isn't supposed to. Seriously I clean the house all the time and I do not know where she finds these little dangerous bits to nibble on. But because of that I don't open up my art commissions that often and the biggest reason for that is because I put a lot of my time and energy into being a virtual YouTuber. I make videos and this is what I really want to do full time and so I see my own artwork as like a side gig which is why I don't open them unless well I really don't have any other choice. It's just too stressful for me to do art full time especially when I've had clients ask me literally every single day for an update and then threaten me with a chargeback because um I don't know, I was working at my normal job in the cafe and I couldn't answer them fast enough. Yeah, it's just very bizarre behavior sometimes. And that's just too much for me to deal with. So I think that the team over at VGen, which again, is a very small group of people running this company, are doing a lot of good by bridging this gap of accountability and stability between the artist and client relationship. But not everything is going to be perfect with implementing these policy changes. And I think Muncha's doing her best at communicating and receiving feedback from all these up 
updates, which is a good thing because I have definitely shared my gripes about companies in the past that don't listen to the feedback from the community that supports them. I do think that a lot of the criticism given by other artists are justified, especially if they don't like using VGen or the new policies because maybe this business style is just not for them. But I do think that this constant fear and risk of accountability from commissions is the biggest perk for a client because it does provide them that safeguard since remember my fellow artists this is people's money we're taking so if this is your job then you need to act like a business at the end of the day because nobody would ever go to any store or restaurant and pay for something to not receive their product i talked about it in another video about how i got scammed out of 300 from two separate artists for two different models and one of them we just settled on giving me the line art so i could continue to work on the model and the other one um i don't know but man i sure wish i had vgen's policy to get a refund on that because it really sucks being ghosted and just told five months later i'm sorry i don't want to be known like this i'll send you an update soon and then um never hearing back i do think there is a huge issue with communication and delivery dates between artists and if people really don't want to deal with vgen's refund policy then well you have two options option one is to not use vgen and continue doing your normal business practices which again has all the risks between you and your client with the whole communication thing and option two is um just actually communicating and delivering on the promise artwork again i think that's the bigger issue here than the vgen policy update because regardless of whatever platform you use as an artist or a client you both have to be diligent on communicating with each other so that way updates are being made like obviously if you're the client don't spam the artist every day but i think it's fair to ask weekly for updates because weekly updates is just a lot more optimal and comfortable because even if you haven't worked on the commission for that week you can just tell them that and say sorry like this week i've been a little busy with stuff and keeping that active line of communication as well as actually settling on a deadline date because that helps keep everybody accountable and with that everyone what do you think about this policy do you think it's a step in the right direction or do you think that there is a better way to hold artists with more accountability let me know your thoughts down below and remember everything reminds you of something bye